Hey, this is a campmate uh, stove that I got. I really wanted one because I'm not sure what the future holds for me and this always will burn a variety of different kind of fuels. Um, I can put alcohol uh, stove in here and put it on one of those little $4 uh, stoves, you know, those little, uh, little stoves that lift up and uh, stick that in there and then I could put an alcohol stove on it or I could put, uh, you know, some hexamine tablets in there and the whole thing uh, will bring, uh, that'll bring it up high enough to where I can put a cup on here or something and burn it. Mostly though I can burn wood and that's what I, you know, wood is always around. And the neat thing about these stoves is that they use just wood that you find uh, laying around somewhere, you know, you, just uh, it exploits um, small bits of fuel. Now I'm out here in the backyard, I'm not trying to pull any slick ones on you. And uh, for the sake of expediency, I got a bag of this stuff. So it's hickory, it was four dollars. I don't mind spending four dollars of my hard earned money uh, to expedite things a little bit. So you can break this wood up or you can just lay it in there. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it exactly. I'll try to take some still photos and, but uh, I got some fat wood that I carry with me and I've taken this uh, SCHF 52 that I've not used very much and uh, kind of diced it all up real fine. So that'll get my fire started and then uh, put the smaller pieces in and then, then, you know, it works up and it burns the bigger pieces. You always start the smaller ones and it, it burns the larger pieces. If you don't know what fat wood is, uh, fat wood is a, uh, it's the heart of the pine tree. And uh, you can usually tell what fat wood is when you're in the pine tree because it's got a real reddish, resiny uh, look to it, kind of an orange look to it. And it smells resiny. I like this smell. Some people don't like the smell. I like the smell. Um, so what I've done is I've, you know, batoned some of this down into finer stuff. Now, I've already got this stove put together, um, so I'm not going to take it apart, but it comes in this little nylon kit. It's called a Campmate. Now, I looked at a lot of different stoves um, around this type of stove, and I like this one the best because uh, it seemed to provide um, a larger space to put your fuel in. It has good crossbars. It's made of you know somewhat thick uh, stainless steel which I like uh, so there's just a variety of reasons that I chose this one but there's all kinds of you know cri your own criteria will determine what stove best fits you I mean uh, this might not be a, the best back camping um, a backpack camping stove because it's a little bit heavier than some of the others so you know, if, and you can always get titanium, which is a whole lot more money, but a whole lot less weight. This has uh, vent holes at the bottom to let air in. So it works, uh, works really well in terms of exploiting your fuel. You put your fuel in, when you get through, you have very few ashes left. Um, again, you know, any kind of wood. So uh, that's my little review on this camp mate. So far I like it, uh, but I haven't used it. I have no doubt whatsoever though that it's going to prove totally um, uh, it's going to live up to my expectations i have no doubt um, see these little crossbars they just they just pop off like that and you just flip them in this whole thing i guess i should say since you might not know this whole thing just uh kind of slots together you see it comes in individual uh, panels they all fit into this little case and then uh, you know it all just slots together not not very difficult you don't have to be a scholar to figure it out and once it's together it's, you know it's pretty solid so now you it doesn't have an ash pan so when you uh, when you burn it is gonna you, you you are gonna get some scorch on the ground and maybe some fire so have to keep an eye out for that but 
and it will get black just figure on that so when you pick it up after it's all cooled off uh, I understand it takes about 20 minutes to cool off depending you know on if you dump the hot ash or whatever and uh, but when you uh, when it uh, does get all cooled off it's gonna be black it's gonna be sooty so you know have yourself a rag handy or expect it a little dirty but if you put it back in this case and then put it in your pack or whatever it's not gonna get your pack dirty you see all these little reliefs that they've done here on the side? That's to make the panel stronger. It's not just for deco purposes, but decoration. You know, it's still decoration, but it's mostly uh, reinforcements to help make uh, the whole thing more integral. So that's the uh, that's the camp mate. All right, mate.